Hello and welcome. My name is Amuli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Code Blocks, which is open source cross platform free IDE for C, C, and Fortran. So, let's go ahead and download it. So, with this Code Blocks, you've got two download options. The first one is you can download Code Blocks itself. The second one is it gives you uh, an option to download and set up everything like the compiler as well. So that's the second option. So in this video, I'm going to download code blocks with the compiler. So to download and install code blocks, we simply need to download it first. So go to uh, codeblocks.org with your preferred browser I'm going to use Google Chrome and then hit on this download button here and then you got okay few links here and basically it says download the binary release which is kind of exe for Microsoft for Microsoft Windows user if you need the source and then you want to compile it and then you want to run it that's perfectly fine you can do that but this video in this video I'm going to use the binary release okay so go ahead and click on the this binary release link here which was here the very first one and then you have the download for Windows XP Vista 7 8 and 10 as well and there are two sources where you can download from SourceForge and FossHub. And if you see it here, this is only code blocks. That means you do not get the compiler. The second one is basically code blocks with compiler, which is min gw. So that's the other download you have. So here we see this is exe file, then you've got non admin exe file then you have a zip folder download so in this video we are going to download code blocks 17 with a min gw c and c++ compiler so go ahead and download it from whatever you think is good for you i'm going to use sourceforge so i'm going to click on it and here we are so on this page you will have to wait for like a few seconds here and then download should start so i'm going to save it on the desktop and i think we are good now i'm going to say save so i've just chosen the location and then hit, hit on save this is going to take some time okay in the meanwhile what i'm going to do i'll be right back once it's done thank you now you can see the code blocks ide with compiler has been downloaded so just locate this this exe uh, application file and so if you're using google chrome it's very easy you can simply click on this show all and this is going to take you to this download page here now you can click on this show in folder or if you know where it's located go ahead and locate it so as you can see this was downloaded on the desktop so it's available on the desktop by default it it takes you to this uh, downloads folder where you can locate your code blocks i installed it previously a few days ago so it was downloaded in the downloads folder so you can see here may be available in the downloads folder or if you have chosen to be downloaded it in a different folder go ahead and locate it and then simply double click on it now you will get a user account control window you simply have to say yes so remember we are going to download sorry install code blocks with the compiler which is min gw uh, minimalist compiler so then you say i agree and you obviously want everything to be installed so here we go 
and this is the location where it's going to be uh, put after installation then you hit install now this is going to extract everything and then install it this also creates a shortcut on the desktop by default okay so this may take a minute maximum because this is kind of executable file exe file so it runs very fast on microsoft windows 10 and here we are do you want to run code blocks now you can say yes or you can say no after that you can simply say next and finish so this is going to launch the code blocks cross-platform ide and this is how it looks when it launches for the first time now you can create a new project okay you can select the type of project and then create one or what you can do you can close this one and then you can create a new c++ or empty file here so this is just an empty file i can go ahead and save it then you can save the file wherever you wish to so i already have selected a folder on the desktop i've got cpp box and i'm going to say main.cpp and hit enter so this is main.cpp now i can go ahead and simply just run a simple application that is going to be i uh, I think what is this stream IO stream and then you've got I'm going to use uh, using namespace using name space std and then you say int the main this is if I can still remember and then you say return zero and then you can simply say here c out hello world so once it's run uh, written you can simply save it check if there are any error so there seems to be an error um, so yeah this could be only thing that I have forgotten that's the only thing I forget now if I go ahead and save it and run it oh still some error here and L I'm sorry no error now you can run it so here you say it says hello world so this is how you download and install code blocks on Microsoft Windows and compile it and run it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any issue, please leave in the comment section. I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you and have a good day. Bye for now.